Hello, welcome to part one of this beginner's guide, I suppose, and uh, a walkthrough anyway of, of Civilization V. Brave New World add in and Gods and Kings add ins, but uh, okay, I've got them, but don't worry about that. They don't change the basic gameplay, they add a few features, adjust a few things. Um, I recommend if you get Civilization V, get the Brave New World and the Gods and Kings add ins because they do improve it. Um, significantly in some ways but the actual basic gameplay um, is the same uh, okay um, so let's just start and we'll I'll, um, in the early stages I'll go through exactly how to get started with this sort of game I don't know if you maybe you haven't played uh, one of these turn-based mega games before so this will give you an idea of how to get started with one um, and then we'll just play the game and see how it goes. I don't know if I'll win or not. Don't know. I'll just have to see. I'll look at the options. And um, obviously you can ex experiment with them yourself to see what suits you. I like to switch on the ones where the automated workers don't do, don't interfere with stuff. Workers are units which um, they dig roads, they um, build farms, things of this sort. But if I manually control one and tell him to do something, I don't want an automated one coming along and undoing it later without my permission. So I just say don't replace any improvements. So I tend sometimes to turn that off later in the game because uh, I, I control the workers quite a bit early on, but later on I often switch them to auto um, and I can turn this option off then maybe and let them sort themselves out. Um, the interface, I don't really worry about it. Um, video options, that's my resolution for, for YouTube. And this. Audio, I have the music turned off because YouTube doesn't like music. It, you get copyright problems, you know, it's crazy really. Um, and speech, I turn it off because I don't like it very much. It narrates bits or reads bits out to you don't not interested and there's no multiplayer in this because I'm going to play a single player game so let's get back and start and we're going to the game setup and you see there's a number of options now I'm going to go for a random leader just because I don't mind who the leader is or they each have their own personality and Along with them, you get some advantages for your civilization, a couple of little cheats, basically. But there's plenty to choose from. Um, some are better than others. But, you know, if you're sort of born into the world, you don't know who you're going to be, do you? <laughs> so, I suppose. Unless you, I don't know, come from the Tibetan Bardo or something, you've planned it all out. But I'm just going to accept a random leader. If you want to change, just click up here and change it. Random it is. Map type. Again, there are lots of map types, not just these, but many, many more. Um, I'm just going to let it choose something. Again, I don't know what kind of world I'm going to be born into. Let's hope it's a good one. Map size, huge. The biggest sort on in Civilization V because I kind of don't like starting a game where I'm crammed in with lots of other civilizations nearby and I'm going to have to fight them to, to break out and get myself some room to expand and become a sort of big civilization. So I like to have a bit of room and uh, this increases the chances. I mean the game usually plonks somebody near you but not always. Um, if it's a warlike nation you can be in trouble but I don't like to play warlike games. I prefer peaceful it's civilization right so let's build a peaceful civilization I play at difficulty level prince usually I mean I, I, I sometimes try the others but it, for you as a beginner you probably start with settler or, or chieftain the game will sort of at, at least especially in your very first game uh, the game won't bother the, the game yeah the artificial imbecility of the game won't bother you too much so just let it um, Sacrifice the first couple of games to learning the basic rules, okay, and then you can work your way up to super duper deity level. 
Uh, instantly, they, there's lots of people showing videos of them playing on deity level. Um, but remember, most of them cheat. They uh, restart the game until they find themselves in a good position, and then they play it. Um, how things go in the very early, very early game are, can set the tone for the whole game. And the game pace is quick, because even with quick, it's going to be normal. A normal game can be 20, 25 hours of gameplay. So quick it is. You can set the, the other civilizations specifically if you want to, and the details of everything. I've turned off the time victory, because otherwise in 2050 the game just stops and it says, you lose. Which I don't like. I want to win, right? Or at least have somebody win by a legitimate means, not just because I haven't won by a given deadline. Um, you can win by science, getting the best technology and getting your rocket to Alpha Centauri. Remember, you're starting off just after the age of agriculture and you've got to build your civilization all the way up um, to the modern era. Domination, where you obviously conquer the world, basically. Cultural, where you build lots of artifacts and arty things and get everybody persuaded to buy your genes and, and stuff. Or diplomatic victory, where you manage to get enough delegates in the United Nations or the World Congress to vote for you to be world leader. And that's it. And there are other options. But let's just start. And see where we go. Who am I going to be? Oh, Maria Theresa of the Austrian Empire. Mm. The Austrian Empire is no more in the real world. The Austro-Hungarian Empire was destroyed in World War I. It was an early form of the EU, really. Lots of disparate nations forced together into a single unit, which they didn't like. Um, we have special units, a Hussar. Ooh, my display's gone a bit dark. How's it going? Okay, wake up. And a coffee house. I don't know what it does, but I guess it'll be some advantage. <laughs> Keep me awake during the game. And I can spend gold to annex or puppet a city-state that has been my ally for five turns. So if I make loads of money, I can, make a big I can get a big advantage as the Austrians. Okay. So if I make a city-state my ally, I can just buy it. That sounds very good. I like that. We'll see that later on, if I remember. <laughs> and here we are. The start of the game. The fog is the fog of war. It shows areas you haven't explored yet. Um, if when you play it, it shows up as sort of black cylinders. That's perhaps because your video settings are not set at a high enough resolution or high enough um, quality level. But your your machine might not be able to manage it, of course. Um, now, I want to explore a bit and just see what I can see. So I want to move my guys, but I can't go very far. So I left click on a guy Okay, and then I right-click on a destination, but he can't. You can only go one hex in every direction, so I'm not going to see much. I think. No. Now, here is a settler, and I can settle. I can found my first city. Our nomadic people, back in 4000 BC, have decided to settle down and manage some farms. And you see, I have sheep here, which is going to be a big advantage, and some spices, looks like cinnamon. Not to mention bananas nearby. Instantly, there are some options here. I'm sorry my head is in the way, but just there, there are some options and you can show resource icons. And you can also turn on and off the hex grid if you want. Um, now, I could explore a bit before settling, but the trouble is because the game kind of um, accelerates exponentially, or decelerates exponentially in a way, as you go through the eras, time sort of contracts. So a turn here is like 20 years, and at the end of the game a turn is like a year. What you do in the early stages really multiplies up in the future. Um, so it's best almost always just to settle. 
Not always. Sometimes you might want to move one or two hexes, but remember while you're doing that, the other players are settling and building something, right, and you are not. So I'm just going to settle. I found it Vienna! And now I have the option. I select a new research project. I can do some construction. I can click on this or I can click on this. So let's choose some production. I have a number of things I can build. A worker will take me 10 turns. And because I believe I have agriculture already, if we look at technology, go back, go back out of here, look at the technology. I have agriculture, so I can construct a farm in a field. But if I want to do those sheep, I need to be able to construct a pasture. So I will need animal husbandry no matter what, before I can uh, farm the sheep efficiently. So there's no point in building a worker straight away. Well, it'll take me 10 turns. I'll have this by then. So I could build a worker straight away. Or I could build a monument. I'm going to build a worker. A monument uh, is a cultural uh, object, uh, like Cleopatra's needle or something of that sort, um, or a kind of Stone Age obelisk or something that um, increases your culture and that helps your borders to expand so you can manage more hexes. Which means you can farm more, you can, your city can grow more, you can get more food. The idea of the game, as I've mentioned, is to grow your civilization and become the dominant civilization in the world somehow. Let's go and explore a bit here. I'm in a hilly region. It's going to be hard to explore around. I need to build scouts who can move further over, over difficult terrain. I have some mountains nearby which I cannot cross next turn. I'm showing the scores here. That's an option from uh, the options menu to show them or not. What I'm exploring for is to find somewhere ultimately uh, where I can settle my next city. But I also need to know what resources are around. Um, there are some goody huts you can find with the remains of other civilizations. There's some stuff here to, to farm ultimately. Vienna has grown. I now have two citizens. And it's going to grow again in 16 turns. And it's going to take me three turns to build this guy. These, showing these numbers is optional too. Um, or some of them anyway. He wants to move. It's, I select, he's already selected. I right click on the destination and off he goes. You can right click a long way away actually and, and he'll just march over several turns. The game doesn't always move him exactly where you want him to go. He gets to the destination but he might not go by the route that you thought he was going to go. This exploration is terribly slow. Oh, I've found animal husbandry. Hooray, I've researched it. I can now mine the sheep and indeed I can find horses. And I can build a trade caravan should I have someone to trade with one day. Silver, and there's silver there. Very good. Research, now that I've done that. I have lots of hills. A lot of people say that granary is really useful for helping your city to grow because it stores food, and it's true. 
Um, but it's going to be a while before I can build one, so I have time to research mining to take advantage of all these hills. Maybe I can mine some of them um, for resources. For productivity, basically, is what they give you. I've built a worker, so he can now come here. And next turn he will mine those sheep. Or whatever you do with sheep, hey. Eh? Ah, oh, monument or a scout? <laughs> scout. It's only two turns. A scout does what you might expect. He scouts. He wanders around exploring stuff. Build a pasture. There are other things you can do when I have the relevant technologies. But for now, I can click either of these buttons to build a pasture. And that will help me, that will allow me to get maximum benefit out of these sheep. If we look at the city, and we go to citizen management, you can see I've got a guy working the sheep and he's getting one food and two hammers, which is production out of that one, two food out of that one, and two of each out of the city hex itself. Building the farm will improve this, you'll see. So it's one to two at the moment, we'll return to map, and we'll have another look when it's done. My score is at the bottom at the moment, but don't worry about that. My scout! Let's go exploring. You see he can move two hexes. So much better. Oh, there's water there. And he's found some goody hut thing. Well, I'll let this guy go to there. Right, now build that monument at last, right? These are some ruins there. You never know what's going to be in them. It could be a barbarian warrior. It, it could be some beneficial thing. You can see it's going to take this guy three turns to get there, so off he goes. And these two, let's head around the lake. Oh, barbarians. Mm. Drat. These guys, of course, are hostile. There's always something, isn't there? And my warrior is over here. I mean, the scout is not completely defenceless. He'll survive a single attack. Um, I will run him away. Make him run away, though. I'm going to have to... They're in some ruins as well. I'm going to have to research archery and go after them with a couple of units, realistically. There we go. My city can bombard them. You click on that, and you click on that. Left click in each case. These guys can carry on exploring. So I'm very near the ocean, or a big lake. I suspect it's the ocean. Okay, I explored these ruins, and I've received 90 gold! Hooray! I've recovered mining! Hooray! Now he's done that. Let me just bombard these guys again. Left click, left click. If we look in the city, you'll see now I'm getting two food instead of one out of that hex. Pretty good. Now I can do some mining here. There's sheep on that one, so I need to take advantage of the sheep. 
I'll do a bit of mining here. It means chopping down the forest, but um, that's okay. Forests provide you with some science benefit or some wood benefits later on. Um, and jungles uh, provide you with science benefits later on. Choose research. Archery is what I was thinking of, wasn't it? I know there's pottery, very important. There's always conflicting goals or needs in uh, in this game. You might as well just bombard him to death, right? There you go. I can't mine that because uh, there's jungle on the tile. I can't dig it up. So I'll as well come over here and mine those sheep instead. And you can go here to intercept any more of these pesky barbarians. Now what you're doing is looking around for somewhere to settle another city. So I need to fill out quite a large radius. Because cities can be as close as four hexes from each other but something like seven or eight is better um, because they expand to size four in the end. Um, so I'm going to speed things up and build another scout. A policy! Right, while we've been sitting here and since I built that monument in particular I've been accumulating culture points. These allow you to win the game and they also allow you to change your government or enhance your government. So let's have a look at our government. The lit up ones are the ones we can do at the, at the moment. You go to different ages and you can do these others. It's based on earth history so it's not completely random. Who knows what crazy ideas would happen elsewhere. They're bad enough on this planet. Um, <clears throat> tradition is nice if you want your empire to be small, so hardly anybody picks this one, <laughs> but it, it does mean your cities individually expand more rapidly um, and gives you culture um, and things like that. Liberty is if you want to expand your civilization quickly, uh, less culture. Um, but you get you, you get various benefits as you buy them one by one with culture. Uh, Honour, if you think you're going to have a warlike time, this will help your military. <coughs> and piety helps your religion. Faith is another form of money, like culture and money. Um, you can spend it on things. Uh, you can. Uh, co-opt a bit of money from other civilizations with it by converting them to your religion and things like that. It's interesting um, and you can make city-states more friendly by getting them to adopt your religion and so on. It's it's, um, it's a, kind of like a mind virus, like rather like the real thing. I'm going to go for liberty and we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping there aren't too many barbarians. It's possible that there are lots of barbarians in this world. The fact that they've wound up so close to me right at the start suggests there may be. Most well-fed people, there we go. Average food surplus, I'm number five. See if we can tempt these barbarians out of their hut. It's, it's rare that they'll leave their hut. There's an interesting place for a city over here, isn't there? I think. I've got bananas, elephants, fish, more sheep. Hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, yeah, somewhere like this. Or on the coast, probably there, perhaps. Might be nice. We'll see what's over here. It's good to get a coastal city, but you are a bit vulnerable to seaborne invasions against a, a skilled opponent. 
Here's another scout. I'm just going to have him explore automatically, I think. No, I'm going to make him explore manually so I know what's going on. Let me clear up the fog over here. Ooh, I found a weapons upgrade. How about that? He's suddenly become a spearman. Let's get up here. On a hill, you can see further. There's somebody there. Oh dear. I found an enemy. Well, or somebody. I don't have much that I can buy, do I? Settler is a little early. But... I think I might build yet another scout, actually. Because this is hilly, difficult terrain, I, th I think it's well worth exploring a lot of it. Ooh. Somebody down here, see the border? I think that's a city-state with the dashed line. Let's go see who this is. Ramses. The stars have foretold your arrival. Is that Leonardo DiCaprio? Yes. Um, declare war. Yeah, right. Trade? What can we do? Basically nothing. I have nothing to trade as yet. We'll deal with trade later on when it happens. For now it's goodbye. Oh, there's a city-state there. Let's just attack these. Now I've got better weapons there. I can exterminate them gradually. Somebody's founded a religious pantheon. Florence. I found the city-state of Florence. A city-state is an AI player who is not bent on conquering the world. They're just interested in managing their own city, as many republics and city-states were historically. Florence is one of them. Um, they give me 30 gold. They are cultured. So if, if I become friends or allies, I gain culture from them. And if, if they become allies, I become I get gems from them as well. More barbarians, right. I'm starting to see the colour of this world. Just wander around Ramsey's land. I could plonk a city here fairly quickly, I think I should. Annoy him, it will, but um, poultry, I've got to have it, got to have it. Because if you start using settlers, it's, uh, it takes it out of your city, you know. Let's steer clear of them, let's go up this way. And you, I'm going to have you explore automatically. There we go, there's that option. And I've met the city-state of Vilnius now. They've also given me 30 gold. They're mercantile, so if I become friends with them I get happiness. And ultimately porcelain and silver, perhaps. Now what am I going to build here? The Temple of Artemis. Super duper benefit. Growth. 10% growth in all cities. That will include future ones. 10% extra growth and 15% production when building ranged units.
Okay, those barbarians are primitive. I don't need an archer right now. I can rely on bombardment. So, Temple of Artemis it is. I'll try it. That is a wonder of the world. It gives you a permanent, or usually a permanent bonus. Now, I've got some more culture. I can improve liberty, or choose one of these others. I'm going to improve liberty. I have a choice. I can switch to a republic, which gives me extra production. Or I can improve citizenship. Tile improvement construction rate increased by 25% and a worker appears near the capital. Mm -mm. I'm going to go for Republic for now. It will allow me to build things a little quicker, like Temple of Artemis, maybe. Another worker can be good, though, because it can really promote your construction. I will just assist them, and that might give me a, a bonus reward from them. Oh, I can promote them. I can either heal them outright, or give them extra combat strength when fighting on open or in, rough, in open terrain. I'll give them extra combat strength. Now use it against those guys. Whoosh. It may annoy Vilnius because I'm in their territory. But on the other hand, I've they like it because I've killed the barbarians. Right. Now I can mine this. It's suggesting it. You see, it puts a little mine there. Let's go and do it. He must have writing. He'll give me gold per turn in exchange for embassy. It's a bit complicated. I'd like to have to swap like for like, to be honest. Um, I'll say no for now. An embassy for an embassy. My automated explorer has found a city-state. <coughs> Militaristic. They give me units sometimes. <coughs> they know the secrets of the Minuteman. Isn't that an advanced missile? If I'm their ally and have gunpowder, they will provide that unit. Come back home. <laughs> Build a mine. Obviously, it provides extra productivity. If I build a city over here, it will annoy the Egyptians enormously, and they'll probably declare war on me eventually. I've discovered pottery, and I can now build a granary, but I'm doing the flipping Temple of Artemis in the meantime. Oh, another barbarian. Oh. They're all over the place. Another barbarian. Clearly, this is a world of raging barbarians, or at least a lot of them. That There are various random levels of barbarians you can get. This is a world with lots. I'm going to have to have a reasonable number of military units. Let's have a look at the technology. I've done all the ancient ones, or the early ancient ones. What do I need next? What's going to be useful? Chopping jungle. We'll clear a marsh. Remove jungle. Writing for the embassy. Let's go for removing the jungle, give my worker something to do. I 
And the bombs working will perhaps give me some more units anyway. See, it's showing up here. But you can change what it shows by choosing different options. But I always find science the most useful. them for Ramses to deal with, perhaps. Settle, that's to fortify, sit there and just stand guard, basically. Ooh. Now I'm wondering, is there somewhere up here that I could use to resettle a city? So I'm not quite so close to him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. Wow. Seven. So I'd like to be on the coast, but I don't know if it's a good idea to settle right on the bananas. I guess I get them. I've got a jungle, I'll have the fish and the elephants. I won't have those sheep. I'll probably have these sheep ultimately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's safe enough. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, he'd probably object to there, but not to there. I haven't built a settler yet, anyway. My city's about to grow again. In one turn, i.e. this turn. Okay, he's built a mine. Build a farm, yeah. Twenty faith. Oh. I haven't even built anything faith-wise, like temples and churches and stuff. I haven't researched that kind of technology at all yet. to clear the fog of war away from these barbarians. See they're chasing after me trying to kill me. But I'm just not interested. And I can outrun them. I can found a pantheon because I've got 20 faith. I can found a religion. Now let's look at the terrain around here because the type of religion you found depends a lot on what you've got around you. I have a lot of jungle. I have some sheep, I have some silver, bananas, right, let's have a look. What religion shall I have? Faith from Tundra, well I'm not in the Arctic. I'm not near desert. <coughs> I can just go for general faster growth rate. General extra production. Culture from pastures. There, from these things. Extra culture. What comes with jungle? I have so much jungle in this area of the world. The silver as well. Just general border, faster border growth. Fruit from banana, citrus, and wheat. Gems and pearls. Jungle tiles. Plus one culture from jungle tiles. 
that looks good for long term benefit. And if I'm thinking of settling, say, here. Gonna go along the sacred path. I founded a pantheon. Gotta figure out how to build temples and stuff now to take advantage of it and generate some more faith. <laughs> oh, another policy. And some ruins over there. I found Uluru. That's Ayers Rock. In English. In our world it's in Australia, but here it's wherever this place is. And I can adopt a policy. So I can either get a free settler. Wow. See why it's good for growth. Go for it. There's my free settler. And I'll send him out with this guy, I think. On defence. Is he healed yet? Join up with the settlers and just head off to there. I agree. Great place to settle. The settler have to wait. So you need to send them out with a guard, especially when there's a ton of barbarians around. Because settlers do not have a defensive value. And the barbarians kidnap them and use them themselves. Or just kidnap them. Basically, and waste them, in effect. Hooray, 95 gold. Ramses has built Stonehenge, another wonder. That will give him some sort of advantage. I have bronze working now. That allows me to build spearmen, like my current enhanced unit. Barracks, obviously to improve units when you build them. Statue of Zeus, which is another honour. Uh, I don't have the honour... Um, social policy so I can't build that but it's good if you do because it gives your units extra strength and it reveals iron and allows my workers to remove jungle continue there is a camp there right I want my scout to head down here start clearing up this Barbarians there. Hmm. They're annoying Ramses. Good. <laughs> Shot a quarry. Some more wonders. Pyramids. Wall city walls could be useful. I think I shall go for plantations. I'm going to need sailing if I when I settle that city, because I want to ex explore. But it's going to take a while to get going. But I think one of the first things I'll do is build a work boat, which will allow me to f do some fishing. So let's get that ready. Because you see there are fish here. So I'm going to set my city down there, probably. 
The game recommends spots, but you don't have to go where it says. It doesn't always recommend the best spots. And it doesn't take political considerations into account, either. I've got the Temple of Artemis. Extra growth and extra production when building ranged units. Archers, in other words, and things like that now. It is not so much for its beauty that the forest makes a claim upon men's hearts, as for that subtle something, that quality of air, that emanation from old trees that so wonderfully changes and renews a weary spirit. There you go. Robert Louis Stevenson, or the priest in the Temple of Artemis. I like shine. I'm the richest. Wow. I'm also making a bit of a loss at the moment, but not to worry. I've been uh, exploring ruins and getting money in, that's why I've got money. Um, there's not much my worker can do, you'll have to build a mine. Um, Oh, he can't go there. Well, we'll have to stick with him. That's very interesting. Oh, I've got to produce something, yes. Let's build this long awaited granary. Ah, uh, you see, they're coming down here to annoy my settler. Well, I don't care about that. My settler is actually going to be all right. But let's just keep them away, distract them. Um, let's fortify. And hopefully they'll be tempted to attack. Rather than wander around here and get in the way. A worthy sacrifice. Another enemy. Okay. Say hello. Say goodbye. Florence is under attack, it says here. There are barbarians. Pyramids has been built. My scout was destroyed. And Vienna can attack a nearby enemy. I don't want to be challenging them too much now. The game is recommending these two spots. As I meant, as I say, you don't have to go where it says, but I do want to go here, in fact. It's kind of close enough to cramp Thebes' style a bit. I've got jungle here for my extra culture. That means I don't chop down the jungle in these hexes anymore. I keep it. I've got elephants, fish, bananas. As it expands, I'll have some productivity. Good farmland alongside the river, probably. That's the way it goes.
Somebody's advanced to the classical era. Let's go away. Fortify. Found a city at Salzburg. Ray. Vienna, time to build an archer. Got to start dealing with these barbarians by force. Salzburg. Let's start with a monument. Or a worker. Mm. Do, do, do. A monument. Now this worker is vulnerable, I'm going to have to move him. They're probably going to dig up this farm, unfortunately. But I've researched sailing, so that's something. Now let's kill them. Thank you. I have some archers, hooray! Let's build a shrine. And I'm going to have to build a settler very soon. Technology, what do I need? What do I need? Writing to build an embassy. Oh. And, and the wheel soon, so I can build a road. I need another worker. Somebody's built the great library. Somebody's going after science. Ah! I thought he was dead. Oh dear. That's Kami Maharana. Now I've got to rescue them. They're going to run off towards the nearest barbarian camp. They've been uh, turned, as it were. Do any nearby scouts are going to intercept them? Doesn't look like it, really. I thought I killed him. Oh well. Maybe they won't make off unless they're uh, actually occupied by barbarians. Kabul. A cultured city-state, but irrational. Now, what is it to be? Do I have somewhere good to settle? Well, I think I should settle regardless of whether it's good or not. Somewhere over here. Need to deal with these barbarians if I do, though. That's okay. I don't want to shoot my guys, I'm just going to capture them. Turn them back into my guys. There we go. More policy. Free worker! Just what I need. And of course, uh, construction rate increased. Is the free worker? Repair that farm, please. Thank you. I 
I need to scout out down here what's on this side. So let's send him to clear this fog. Oops. Carry on building the mine. And archers, you go back here. We're going to escort that settler to somewhere. Now, is there anything he can do in these hexes? I don't think so. No. Don't think so. No, I'm going to discover the writing soon, don't worry. Mr. Ramses. Mr. Second, I suppose. Ramses the Second, is he? Was he? Uh, funny, funny surname. Hey. Barbarians all over the place. They get annoyed if you go through their territory, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, I could build a farm there, but I don't want to dig up the uh, the, the the forest. To be honest, let's go over here, then and build a farm over here. Or I could go over to Salzburg. I'm going to build a road to Salzburg as soon as I've got the technology. There's room to, for something over here. Well, it's kind of close to Florence, but there's, there looks like there's room for something here. I have writing. So I can build libraries. Uh, I see only one hex for some annoying reason. The wheel. I keep talking about building roads, let's get on with it. Good shot, Cabal. That's where they're coming from. And I have a settler. Now where shall I settle? I was looking at sort of over here. But I could settle See, these are in a decent place, actually. Quite close to Florence. But say I could settle down here somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, somewhere around here would be very good. But I do need to sort out these guys to some extent first, or afterwards. Hmm. Get ready to build a road between these two towns. Just hang around there. Settler, let's start heading out. And the archer to go with him. Not quite sure exactly where I'm going to go. Nice one. You come along as well. We can have a little war over here, I think. Build a farm. Mr. Scout, find out what's going on down here if you can. Choose production. A caravan. I'm going to need some trade. 
I'm running out of money, you see it's going down. I don't like to be in the negative. A work boat, please. See what's down here. Can't do it yet. Skip a turn. Next turn, the wheel. I think I need to talk to Ramses. Set up an embassy, if possible. I can build the chariot archer now. And the water mill. Which is productivity on rivers. Let's just see diplomacy. There's lots of stuff to look at. Got the city states down here and Ramses. Trade. Embassy. Embassy. Propose. That'll work. Good. Anything else? Nope. I have silver, but I only have one. So I don't have a surplus, is what that means. I don't want to trade it. Goodbye. I must speak Peter Cami what's it as well and see if I can do the same. Hmm. They don't have, they can't establish an embassy, right, okay. They don't have writing yet. Research, what I need? I need calendar and I need to be able to build city walls. because the world ain't safe otherwise. Okay you, I want you to build a route to Salzburg. He's just gonna chug away digging along. Somewhere down here it's recommending and I think there's a load of resources around here. This is a really good location, right in the middle of them all. That's flipping barbarians for you. Well, I think come up here and start helping this city. Show them who's boss, eh? Just wait, Mr. Settler. I should have stopped after an hour of streaming, but it's just one more turn. My camel train. Let's see if he can travel to somewhere good. Not really. He can't go to... to um, Ramses, he doesn't have the range. But he can go to Florence or Sidon, which, and they are nearby. Florence is rather near the barbarians. I'll send him to Sidon. And I'll get plus three gold per turn out of that for now. So a bit of a little trade route that goes. 
Barbarians can plunder the trade route if they attack the camels. Uh, but we're not going to give them the option, hopefully. Perfect. No, you stick with the, your, your guys. They'll have to move next turn. Library. I want to get science up. And I should stop there. Because it is, after all, a while. Let's save the game. I'm going to save it here. I'm not Ramses, that was some previous game I was playing. Um, I'm Maria Theresa of Austria, so it'll show up next time. Save, yes. And I'll stop streaming and see you hopefully. I'll stream some more tomorrow. Um, or if you're watching a recording, I hope you enjoyed it. Watch part two and all the rest, okay? Subscribe if you like, please. Or like, anyway. Or dislike if you must. But anyway, bye for now. <laughs>